You know, some of these transsexuals are uh, kind of convincing. When did we put this in our newspaper? I don't know who located it. Frank downstairs, maybe? Hey. Somebody who likes she mails, apparently. <laughs> I didn't even know it was legal to print this. Could. So are we getting this meeting underway, or? I don't know. I think, yeah. Hello, gentlemen. Speak of the devil. Yeah. Yes. How are you both? Are you ready for our uh, little budgetary meeting? Yeah, we, uh, it's probably a good thing we're having this meeting because it's kind of a big issue. We have no money. We have no money. And did you know we, like, all of our budget is going into she -mails. Who approved this? Uh, I did. Me, it wasn't you that. approved this? Oh, well, yes, of course. You approved she -mails in our magazine. I approve of she -mails. Okay, I gave you a folder two days ago. I left it in your office. It was lovely looking, I saw it. No, it wasn't. There were zeros everywhere. That was the worst budget portfolio piece of shit that I've ever put together. Mm -hmm. If you looked at it, you'd know that. And you'd know we have no money. So, what ideas do people have? The paper? The budget? Biodegradable. We could make our newspapers biodegradable. Biodegradable. No, they're made of paper. Paper? is already biodegradable. I think you're mistaken. No, I'm not. It's made of trees. It'll give us the hook, okay? Biodegradable. Do it. Everyone is going green. I'm working days. with a bunch of fucking idiots. You have no ambition. No, I mean, if you leave paper in the rain, it's, it's going to biodegrade and turn into mush. Are, are you, did you go through grade three, either of you? <laughs> well, according to you and your budget, we can't afford mush. I think he's onto something with this biodegradable business. Things are going green. That seems to be the trend. Yeah, th this is the 21st century, Ted, okay? We're all recycling now. If you don't want to get on board, you can just get up. So, do you have any, any good ideas, Ted? Yeah, recycling will not help our paper. Okay, if we had money to kind of start something, start a recycling program to kind of get us back on track, maybe. But we don't have anything. We need to, like, rob a bank or something, because this fucking shit sty is falling apart. We don't even have windows installed on the second floor. The bathrooms are empty. There's just pipes coming out of the ground. Walls are, like, tacked on. There's no insulation. This place is freezing in December. Well, we can't... Okay, you know the break room? You know that shitty closet you call a break room? Yeah, there's no coffee in the machine. There hasn't ever been... I'm surprised we have enough money for the machine. I could go for a coffee right now. Yeah, I me too, but we can't afford eight anything. Weeks. <sighs> I would love a coffee. So, do you have any um, additional ideas at all? Um, we could add comics to our newspaper because actually, I saw this episode of Dilbert. We could put Dilbert in there because there was this, there was this, uh, this comic of Dilbert, and it was. He went to a restaurant, okay, and he wanted to order Chinese food, but they gave him Vietnamese food. Huh? <laughs> I love Dilbert. He's such a funny little character. Sweet. My wife cuts them out. She uh, she puts them up on the fridge for me in the Can morning. We... I love it. I love it. I haven't gotten a paycheck in six weeks. You sir need to. Do you some need to work. talk to HR. Mm, there is no HR. They all left. Hmm. Do you realize is it that Friday it's Friday today? No, today's Thursday. Oh, maybe I give them Friday off. I can't remember. Today's Thursday. They should still be here then. Well, I think we've got some good ideas on what to do about the budget. No, um, let's move on to our next order of business, the Halloween party. Yes. Are you serious? We can't afford a Halloween party. Everyone likes to party. We need to raise morale. As you said, things seem to be a little down in the dumps. You are bringing everyone down, Ted, okay? We need a party. I'm going to go as a scary ghost. I was gonna go as a funny ghost. We could play off each other. <laughs> oh, what are you gonna go as, Ted? Very amusing. You know what I'm gonna go as? What? I'm gonna go as a man who doesn't work for an incompetent, dying business. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go as a man who possibly gets a paycheck every week. Maybe I'll go as a man who doesn't have to resort to eating cat food in this decrepit building. It's not even together. The walls are <laughs> nothing is together in this building. I'm leaving. I'm going to the building. The company across the street, I can't take it here. You're just, the company's done. It's just, it's done. I'm leaving. If you want to go to Tim Hortons, Ted, be my guest, okay? We don't need you here. So, um, next, uh, next Saturday we'll be having the party when the renovations are done? I look forward to it. He was rude. That's what he was. Mm -hmm.